Hi everyone! In this video you are going to learn how to create a cool snow effect using Niagara Particles in Unreal Engine 5.1 but that's not all. This is just the first part of a two-part series where we also explore how to simulate snow accumulation on the ground. But before we get started I have some exciting news to share with you. Uh, the channel reached the 500 subscribers milestone and the first Patreon supporter has stepped in. So thank you all and let's make the next goal of 1000 subscribers a reality by hitting that like and subscribe button. Now we can jump right into this tutorial, check out the final snow effect in this abandoned factory sample map and get ready to bring your game to life with the magic of snow particles. First of all, we need to create a new Niagara system by right clicking the content browser and selecting Niagara. We add the blowing particles emitter and click finish. I'm going to rename it to ns underscore snow and open it. We want the particle to be simulated by the GPU, so in the meter properties be sure to have sim target set to GPU compute sim. We also need to set the bounds inside in which the simulation will happen and we can go with minus 1000 for the men and 1000 for the max. Check also the local space checkbox. In the meter update group I've set the spawn rate to 500 so we can have a more visible effect you can tweak this value to control the density of the snow. If you need more particles be sure to increment this number step by step because it affects performance. In the particle spawn group in the initialize particle section we can leave the lifetime and color values to their defaults. Instead the sprite size mode should be set to random non-uniform so we can stretch the snow particles and also give them some variety. I've set 1.5 and 0.5 for the min and 2 and 1 for the max. At the moment the particles are spawning from a sphere uh, but for effect like snow and rain a box is better. So I'm going to set the shape primitive to box plane and the size to 1000 on x and y axis and 50 for the Z. In the particle update group I've turned off the wind force module because I want just a vertical effect however you can keep it on if you want a windy snowfall in that case you can play with the wind speed value along each axis. Keep the aerodynamic drag on to let the snow particles fall slower uh, following a fall pattern similar to the leaves falling from a tree this makes the effect more realistic. I've disabled collision since we don't need it. In the second video of this series we will make the snow accumulate on the ground without needing collision. In the scale sprite size module we need to increase the starting value of the curve from 0 to 0 0.5 to make the particles more visible. Finally remove the align particles with collision plane as we have deleted the collision module before. In the render group we can leave everything as it is and now we can save our Niagara system and go in the content browser and place it in your label and let us know guys actually I wanted to say this from the beginning of the video okay that's a wrap for part one of our snow effect tutorial I hope you had fun and learned something useful if you did hit the like and subscribe buttons along with the notification bell so you won't miss the next part on snow accumulation if you want to take your support to the next level, be sure to check out my Patreon page in the video description. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Until then, keep on creating and cheers!